It's Friday. Another weekend here in the Transformer world begins, and we're going to jump into yet again another Transformer Slag podcast Patreon listener question. Once again, if you want to be part of the Transformer Slag podcast Patreon, help support the podcast. Let us know we're doing a half decent job keeping you educated, entertained, and informed here in the Transformer world. Patreon.com forward slash protoman, or check the pinned comment or the description below. What does it get you if you join the Patreon? Keeping you entertained year after year, month after month, day after day. Gets your name in the end credits, the end of every segment moving forward. Gives you access to our exclusive Discord where we share lore, we share news, we break all kinds of stuff, images, all kinds of crazy things. And of course, we have our amazing sales section where you save money on your hobby, not having to pay full price for retail product, which is going to be our discussion today. Spoiler. Uh, you save money. You save money just being part of the Discord. You'd be surprised how far you go. Just ask anyone who's been part of the Discord and how much they've saved just on the sales alone that have been posted there. On top of all that, depending on what tier, you might get a little something something in the mail, a little access to, you know, all kinds of little goodies that we throw to people depending on certain tiers, giveaways, stuff like that. And of course, the Patreon listener question. And we got a Patreon listener question today. From longtime patron, one of my very first patrons all those years ago, Billy B. And Billy B. wants to know, Hey, Proto Man, I got a listener question concerning sales and marketing. How much of an impact do online retailers make on product sales compared to buying off the shelf? I asked because I was recently told, and I quote, for the big toy companies online like Big Bad Toy Store, EE, and etc. I guess that's Entertainment Earth. Uh, They don't really matter or make a difference in sales because the amount of market share online sales have is nothing significant in terms of impact compared to the mainline toy sales of the big retail brands, excluding, of course, Amazon. A decade or so, I might have agreed with that statement. But in today's economy, I think that online sales might rival the competition of in-store sales, if not exceed it. Happy belated Boxing Day in Canada. Looking forward to another slagging great year from my favorite source of all things Transformers, Billy B. Well, thank you for the kind words, Billy B. Um, yeah, I'm going to say this straight up. Uh, people don't realize just how big of a monster retail is, like just normal in-store retail compared to online stuff. And again, I, I love buying online just like anyone else does. And especially from some of those people that you might have mentioned even. I'll get into that in a moment. But, I mean, you, you can't even compare. Like, even today, even in today when, when we had, like, the big V and everything, you can't even compare. Because I just want to just give you, like, I'll, I'll use low in, lowest common denominator numbers. Not even give you, like, the big picture. Just even the lowest common denominator numbers will make you go, like, ooh, that's already a lot, and they can't compare. So, like, let's just use... Every Walmart just in the United States, not Canada, not the rest of the world, just the United States, just Walmart, not Target, not Walgreens, not any other chains, just Walmart, just Walmart. So in the United States right now, as of 2022, there's 4,650 Walmarts. So let's use that as our basis, 4,650 Walmarts. Now let's let's assume every single one of those Walmarts just got one case. One case of Deluxe Studio Series. Just one case. Not two, not three like they normally do, or five or six, or ongoing restock. Just one case. That one case of Deluxes has eight figures in it. Two of each character in that case of eight. So let's say one of those characters in that case is my boy Hot Rod. That means there's two Hot Rods in that case. That means that Walmart just ordered from Hasbro's distributor over 9,300 hot rod figures from that one single order, from that one wave. That's it. And that's just Walmart. That's just in the USA. That's just a single case of each of those Walmarts, not ordering any more, no multiples, and that's almost 10,000 units sold right there from the distributor to Walmart. 10,000 units. And no offense to Big Bad Toy Store or TF Source or any of those guys, but they don't have those kind of margins on one single figure. Just one figure. 
10,000 units for a hot rod figure. And again, I'm giving the lowest example from every angle. Uh, if again, if it was up to, you know, to every, let, let's say it was every Walmart in the world, every Walmart in the world, that's 11,000 Walmarts in the world as of 2022 could change up or down a little bit. And let's say of those 11,000 Walmarts in the world now, they order two cases instead of just one. That's 44,000 hot rod figures. 44,000 hot rod figures. And that's just Walmart, not Target, not Walgreens, not Toys R Us, just Walmart. And it's why Walmart... Walgreens, Toys R Us, why they have exclusives and why they steer the ship and sometimes some of the lines for Hasbro because they got the margins and they would not do something like that if it was not profitable and moving all those units. The Big Bad Toy Store had exclusives once. Uh, it was during the peak of Transformers in 2010 to 2012. You know, that's when they really started to have exclusives. And then they had it once in 2017 for a hot second. But that was the Transformers Prime Energon line. And then they had that reissue pra uh, Piranicon that they had. And then in 2017, they had that Titans Return Siege of Cybertron multi-pack. And I'll tell you this right now, from personal experience, living all of that, none of those worked out for them. The Prime line they had in stock for decades, you know, well, not decades, a decade on end. I remember them having it as late as, geez, BotCon 2016. They still had it in their on their on their. Uh, their tables at the show. The G1 Piranicon went on massive liquidation, and the Titans Return Siege of Cybertron multi-pack ended up liquidating their stock to Toys R Us in the end. So they kind of got out of the exclusives game because it wasn't profitable for them. That's why they don't do exclusives anymore. Uh, Big Bad Toy Store. And I love Joel and the BBTS crew. Don't get me wrong, I love Joel... You know, they are awesome people. They have always been respectful for, to me for the past 15 years, and I still buy stuff through them all the time. But they ain't the monsters that are Walmart, Target, Walgreens, and Toys R Us. They really aren't. And that's, that's, that's in, in my opinion, BBTS is the, the peak of the tip of the tip. Everything else after that is much smaller. So if BBTS can't even compare... Everything else is really just small numbers. And I know some of those other guys personally that run those stores. And they're not moving, again, even in the lowest common denominator, 8,000 units of a single character. Uh, I go a little bit into this with my, with my segment. With the, uh, I did a little segment, uh, Why Do Store Exclusives Happen with Transformers? It was like a real eye-opener for a lot of people that we're not a fan of exclusives, but need to understand why they exist and the power that retailers have, whether we like it or not. And it's just, it's, it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy how big the numbers are. And look, you know who I talk to from Hasbro. You know the people I sit down and have private conversations with. They move a lot, a lot. And like I said, you mentioned, you know, we're going to leave out Amazon. That's a monster in themselves. That's why we don't count them in this equation. But all those other online retailers, nah, they're, they're, they're to me, to me, and again, I say this with all due respect, it's more of a mom and pop kind of store thing with the online retailers. And Big Bad Toy Store being the biggest of those mom and pop stores. So that's just the reality of it. I mean, it's that's why, you know, we don't see exclusives with any of those other stores. That's just it, you know, plain and simple. So I hope that answers that a little bit. But I mean, it's the numbers are crazy when you like when you think about just how many units of some deluxe classes or core classes are sold just to like Walmarts or something. It's staggering, staggering how much product is out there. So I hope that answers that, Billy B. I hope it gives you a little bit of an idea. But I mean, at the end of the day, I always say it's all about options. If you could get a better deal at another location, at a big bad toy store, at a online retailer, at an Amazon or you find something on liquidation at a Walmart or, or your local mom and pop comic book store, go for that. You know, go for that. Always try to get the best bet for yourself and for your wallet, in my opinion. But I hope that answers that question. Again, if you want to be like Billy B and uh, support the Patreon, help support the podcast. Again, patreon.com forward slash protoman. 
or check the pinned comment or the description below and rock out with the robots in disguise. And I will see you tomorrow for the Transformer Swag Podcast Saturday night live stream. Take care, guys. I'll talk to you then.